everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to Missouri Star Live. I am Misty Doan, and I really appreciate you being here. I am actually out of the office today, so Jenny and Natalie have been so kind to step in and show you another fabulous project using the Daisy and Grace uh, hexagon templates. So check that out, and they've even got a fun new surprise. Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I am here today with Natalie. Hi and everyone. And when you guys show up to work, if you work with your family or you're really friends with your co-workers, do you actually find that you're dressing in the same colors? <laughs> it was this, not planned. <laughs> no, we do this all the time. We'd be like, oh, well I guess it's teal day. Yeah. It's just funny. So anyway, we've got some fun things to talk about today. We want to take some questions. We want to talk about, um, we have this cute little snowflake, hold, hold these ends out, this cute little snowflake project that uh, we're going to work on today with the Daisy and Grace template. And you've seen it before, you've seen us do it before in the live, but the reason we're revisiting it is because of this right here. Look at this. Pre cut batting. It's going to save so much time and so much cutting. We like did a happy dance. That was the, that was the part <laughs> most, I did all the cutting of the batting personally. Yes, Nobody did. else wanted to do it. <laughs> well, well, you know, uh, if I cut a lot, it like kills my shoulders after a while. And so Natalie's like, I'll cut that mom. And so um, we have actually, um, you know, we've been making these now for a while. And so we have some tips and tricks that are going to help you and make things quicker and easier. And we also want to take questions, so we're really excited to have you here, and uh, we hope that uh, you guys enjoy this day. And go ahead and ask us whatever it is you want. Uh, let's see, on the table we have this, uh, the, our little pins, our favorite pins that are silicone heads, so you can iron over them. They're the magic pins. We have our Quilt as you Go template, the yep. Daisy and Grace Daisy template. And and, uh, and then we also have this, we're using this Christmas card fabric from Moda uh, by Sweetwater. And that's what it's all so of our, cute. our little cuts are out. Yeah, such a cute line. So anyway, do we have any questions yet? So we've got folks tuning oh, got in Liz from, here. hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got folks tuning in from four continents. And Ooh. so we just want to say hi to everybody. Um, this is going fast and furious, so I won't be able to call it a lot of your names, but folks are saying they've made some hexi coasters, they've made some of the other hexi projects, and excited to see pre-cut hexi batting. Isn't it that is. the best? Isn't that the best? It's so, it's so good. Yeah, for Natalie and I, this was a huge win, you know, and, and honestly, you know, if you have scraps of batting, you can cut your own very easily just using this template. But um, when we... You know, you, when we started cutting this and putting this together, it was just like, just pick up a piece, use it. I mean, it was like amazing. Well, yeah. Yeah, it, it goes way fast. So, Natalie, you actually have a trick for cutting the bigger pieces. Yes, actually, I do. I do want to show that. So, um, your, your strips will be cut six inches because this backing or this back piece measures six inches. But then when you go to fold it the opposite direction, I have just a... Let me have a little piece of backing. Okay. Whichever one I can cut a strip off of. Well, we've done the red already. We've done some, this is, this fabric actually is part of the Sweetwater line. And, um, and it, we use it for the back of this one, you know, and you can see it's adorable. Yes, and in the so description below, guys, half. if you want to look at these fabrics, there's a link to uh, all the supplies that we're using, so you can see all of that. Okay, I get that. so you know, like the color of the green and yep, cool. all that's on. Yeah, there. so we just pulled in a couple of the solids because we thought those would look cool as well. And um, well, they really make the fabric stand out. All right, so this is cool. So you've got your six-inch strip, and then what I'm going to do is fold it on my six inch ruler because that way I don't have waste and I know like I can cut through this many layers without. Is that um, a straight six or a six and a half? This is actually six and a half. I prefer a straight six, but this will work and yeah. it's still only okay. going to give you a half inch of waste. So it's not terrible. But if you had a six inch ruler, it would be waste. even better. Yeah, okay. it would be even better. We just don't have a six inch on set for some reason so today. So on, on, on our cutting table in <laughs> our studio. That's my fault, I'm sure um, in, On our cutting table and on our studio, we have a six inch ruler and people always say, how do you decide what size border to put on a quilt? 
<laughs> it's because it's the width of the ruler we have, and it's way easy to cut them like that. We just cut. It's like we have a six-inch ruler. Those are going to be six-inch borders, you know? Right. And if the five-inch ruler happens to be laying there, guess what? You get five-inch borders. So there's no science <laughs> behind it. It just is what it is, you know? Yep. Just... So once you, like, wrap it all up around your ruler, you slide your ruler out, and you can cut. Well, this has got to be six inches on the side. There, you there go. we go. So oh it's my an gosh, exact. So you just make a couple little cuts. Yep. And I can line it up with this side because I know that side is straight. But then this way. And you like guys that. can see this with the overhead, right? Okay, good. And like that. And there, there are going to be a couple pieces in here that are folded because you have your ends. So don't be freaked out by that. Also, I have two grandsons here today filming. So oh. that's pretty cool. So I've got They're both just a little boys. catch right there. One. Oh, I caught a little bit. That's where the fold was. Oops. One, two. It's going to be on all those. Okay. Here, just open them up. Well, darn it. That didn't go quite how I planned. No. But, you know, it's live. So, of course it doesn't. <laughs> of course it doesn't. <laughs> it's a great technique. But either way, I've got, you know, six, one, two, three, four, five, six cuts. And they and it used like lots. it yeah. was the. You, you do have to make sure your rotary blade is sharp. Yes. Because you're cutting through six. Yes. Yes. And don't do it while just slightly nervous because there's a camera in front of you. So. That's right. <laughs> just slightly nervous. It's fine. It's, We're fine. It's fine. All right. Iron one of these flat and let's, okay. just, let's just put one of these together. I will cut the middle. I have a charm here. This is always my hardest part on cameras. I always like, I'm like, I'm looking for my favorite piece. <laughs> yeah. And aren't they sometimes all your favorite piece and you have yes. to choose? Yes. And so I'm just actually right here, I'm going to take this, uh, the middle of it, and I am going to just go ahead and cut this out from my charm square. And this would have been super easy if I'd thought to do a rotating mat. Oh, we have one if you want me to go I it. know. Right I've, under. I'm already almost done. You know me. I'm the make-do. Just let's, let's do it. <laughs> All right. So now we have this piece. Okay, I've got this lined up. Let's bring over the magic batting. Oh, the batting that's pre-cut. <laughs> that She's like, Mom, it stop it. Pretty well, let's speed this process up. <laughs> oh no, we've we've got a half an hour, so like we could like go really slow on this. <laughs> okay. So you actually use this outer frame right here and to center everything on. So you make sure that everything's laying in there and it all fits nice and it's center. And then what yep. I do is I go ahead and stick a uh, pin in the center so, oh, they, you do. so they don't move. Do you not do that? No. Okay. I just don't find that they move that much. So. All right. So come over here a little, move over here a little to the center yep. and, um, and then you can start folding. Fold it down and then fold it in. And then I, that's where I use my pins. Let me grab some more pins here. I've actually got some of these other colors here too. I have the pink and the orange. The oh, orange yeah, ones are a little bit shorter. Yeah, they have lots of colors. So they're easier for these sections because then you don't run into them with your corners. Yeah, the, um, and they come in different lengths. That's the, that's the reason for the different colors. They come in different lengths. So what makes the magic pins magic? It's the fact that the ends right here are silicone and you can iron them. So that's what yeah. makes these pins magic. So, because, so I have one like iron, pre, all pinned right here, ready to go. And, um, and I can just take this over to the ironing board like this and just not worry about the fact that I'm melting my plastic the pin, pins. Yeah, the pinheads or, don't melt. You know, and I can just iron the heck out of this so that it doesn't go anywhere and that nothing happens to the pins and it's just perfect. Yeah. And so, um, you know what I'm going to look for? Oh, here. I'm, gonna look for, I'm just looking for some thread that's a little greenish so I can sew this down on this uh, um, sewing machine with a thread. So what I did when I sewed mine together is I chose a top thread that's going to match my fabric. So I had black on this one. I have red on this one. And this one I'm going to use this, this kind of green. And it's close-ish. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on here and re-thread this machine. And we're using the Baby Lock Jubilant today, which is not your usual machine. No, you we're using the Jubilant. And the reason is, is, is that, you know, for most, most of the sewing I do, I'm a piecer. And so most of my sewing is just sewing pieces together, straight stitching. But um, for this, 
you can straight stitch all the way around, but when you want to put them together, uh, you, you can use an, another stitch. And so when we did the technique, we did them all in um, zigzags. So mm -hmm. we zigzag them together. On this one right here, let me pull this well, one Well, and here. we straight, so we straight stitch just the hexagon part. Yeah, we straight stitch around. And then we around. zigzagged when we joined them together. So on this one, and I know it's super hard to see. You might not be able to see it unless Maybe you on come the, in really close. Nope, not even on the back. But I did a decorative stitch on this that went on both sides of the needle, and so it caught it. I used the turkey stitch on this one, and I just, it's like you can barely see it. Mm-hmm. It looks almost like I did it by hand. And I love you taught me this. The turkey <laughs> stitch, it looks like a little turkey foot. So it looks that's like turkey feet, turkey yeah. stitch. Yeah. And I don't actually know that that's the real name. But it it's, works. You know, it, it's very descriptive. It I works. think it is. Oh, I should thread this needle. And maybe, let's see, thread the needle. No, this is not going to thread for me today. Of course not, right? <laughs> Any questions coming in, you guys? So we've got some questions around... Um, First of all, thanks for the great cutting technique to get multiple backgrounds at one time instead of doing one at a time. <laughs> um, and then a couple of questions around, um, mm -hmm. do the pins get mm -hmm. wonky after being used a lot or do they seem like they stay nice, straight and true? So the only time, uh, mine have stayed, stayed nice and straight and true. They're not a super strong pin. They're very thin. Okay. Um, and so when I used That's them to hang them. quilts on my uh, design wall, they, I would push them in and they it's would bend. Too heavy. They're, so they're not yeah, great. Yeah, they're very flexible. So I would yeah, say they're, they're, not great, for they're great for pinning with, with um, any kind of piecing or, or this kind of thing. But if you're trying to s stab it into something and get something heavy to hang off of it, that's not going to happen. If yeah, you're trying, if you use it for what it's intended for. Yes. <laughs> here, Natalie. I they're perfect. I have no glasses. I know the holes there. I've been, I've been threading machines for this all my life. A very tiny but needle. I can't see it. Hmm. This is a very tiny needle. That may be why and this didn't work. It, that may be why it didn't work. Let me see. This has to be all the way up. There you go. Now try it again. And it has to go over the. Okay. No, you don't hold the thread. You can't hold the thread. Well, sometimes you have to. Okay, wait. Come on. I guess it isn't going to work. I just need good eyes, young eyes. You boys may have to thread this machine. Sorry, be sorry guys, I'm not that young. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay if it makes you feel any better this morning i was trying to thread the white for you and do we uh, not have it took an extra minute so. <laughs> oh yeah so how did you do it so i uh, i got isaac to do it for me so we may have to bring isaac what? in what isaac chiseling for scissors oh chiseling for scissors oh behind so grandma folks are also saying that this is causing them to go back and, and dig out their template so we're happy to see that it's a great template it makes really cute projects you can do lots of layouts and we have as Jenny said, we've done this before, so there's some other layouts from previous projects. Oh and my this, gosh, yes. There's um, another link to that as well, so you can see that. And you can actually go to the Daisy and Grace website, and she's got all kinds of ideas for using this. Like, mm -hmm. she's made bags, purses out of these hexagons. She's made runners. Um, we made a runner. Uh, Natalie made a tree skirt. Uh, I we have... I like the snowflake, but I have a I have a round kind of coffee table, and I realized that if I filled in all these areas, like you know, just just like this, and filled them all in, then I have this cool round, um, round in the middle of the you know for my table right, thing, yeah. you know. And so I'm just like, oh my, you know, this is one of those things. Really, did you get that threaded? I did get it threaded. Awesome. This and is I, one of those things really where once you get started on it, the ideas, I almost just so I kind of want to spill the beans a little bit. We have a project coming out in our August block mm -hmm. that's getting ready to go to print uh, maybe next week, I think. In the magazine. Yeah. And so what block we magazine. did is we, we took um, a piece like this and folded it in half and just tucked it in here and made little pockets for an advent calendar. Very oh. cool. So that's super Ooh. cute and coming up in the next magazine. <laughs> Well, and will yes. we be able to see that tomorrow night if we join you for the vlog? I party? might be able to find it. Yeah, that's I'll grab thing, it from guys. photography and okay. bring it over. Tomorrow yeah. night. It's right. Tomorrow yes, night? Yes, tomorrow night, Wednesday at 6 p.m. At Central. 6 p.m. on Wednesday. So it's a nighttime mm -hmm. one. So we don't know what's going to happen at night, but we're having a block party. Two lives in a row. Two lives in a row <laughs> with us. <laughs> with me. I'm excited. It's going to be great. I don't know. <laughs> we don't Misty's lives. never allowed to take a vacation again. <laughs> <laughs> Misty is, she is having a good time. She is. She went rock climbing this week. 
Well, I'm I'm super proud of her. I know she's afraid of heights, you yeah. know. And yeah, yeah, so, that's a big deal for her. So that it was probably this is probably and you know when you do something like that when you're you have a fear and you overcome mm -hmm. it, that makes you feel so powerful. I love that. So good. All right. So she I'm needed just gonna, a little break. Oh, oh wait, I'm on a zigzag. Hang on. Hang on, I don't know what I'm on here. Two, three. You know what? This is, a, I'm doing a smart thing right now. We're going to test so. Nice. You're going to see what that stitch looks like? Yeah, I'm going to see what that stitch looks like. Let's Good see. idea. I'm going to take one of these and see what this stitch looks like. Make sure that I'm, okay. Whew. <laughs> I have been sewing for a long time, but new sewing machines do give you a bit of a, a, bit of a challenge. It's like getting in a rental car. You know how it works. <laughs> That's right. It's so true. <laughs> that is a really good analogy. That rental car, you're like... All right, wait, where's the wipers? You know? <laughs> exactly, the turn signals are probably in the same spot. Yeah. Pretty close. Oh, this is such a nice, quiet machine. I love it. My machine, it's like, dum 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 because it's like so, so fast, you know? <laughs> it's, it's a little aggressive. It's high octane. So we have a few other folks making some great comments to share. Um, someone said, I have a yellow and gray line of fabric, and I'm going to make a honeycomb out of this. That's a oh, great that is so, idea. so perfect. Cute. Super cute. Some folks are talking about making quick And what a great for gift friends. for somebody who's like, you know, a lot of people are keeping bees these days. And yep. what a great gift for something like that. I love gifts that are like themed. You know, it's like, you love this, so I'm going to make you this. It is easier if you know somebody has a passion for something or a hobby. Then you can you can really customize what you're making for them. Yes. And even so if it's how's everybody doing things. during the pandemic? How's everybody doing? <laughs> We're, I, so I feel like let me just tell you. I feel like somebody asked me how I was doing the other day, and I'm like, I feel like it's a roller coaster. You know, you're like, we can do this. We're awesome. We're hanging in there. We're quarantining. We're only sending one person to the store. We only, you know, we our family quarantines together, so we stick together, and we're doing it. And then you're like, oh, okay, we're really tired of this. You know, we just want to go to TJ Maxx, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so then you're down here for a bit, and then you're up, and you're like, all right, no, we can really do this. You know, I feel like it's, a, it's this emotional roller coaster. Yeah, we're seeing folks saying that this and, and projects with you guys have been one of those bright spots that we can, oh, we can stop you. and we can make something together. And that's together. a bright spot for us. You know, seriously, mm -hmm. we, we, uh, we appreciate you saying Helps that. Helps us stay motivated. It does. Yep. I have a hard time. My, my biggest problem, I think, is just not really being able to plan for the future. Because oh. I, I always want to think ahead and like what's coming in, in six months or how is it going to look in a year and I can't, I have oh. no idea. Yeah, that so. uncertainty is really hard right now. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm done with this little one. So let's get it. Can we get it like a kind of a, a close look on? I need yes. a little. You need scissors? Yeah. Maybe down here in our drawer. Nope. Wait. <laughs> what are these? I don't know, but I feel like we need to dig into that product. <laughs> I feel like I should I be in the, yard, in the yard pruning right now. Yes, the, <laughs> like the pruning shears of the quilting world. <laughs> we don't know what they are. <laughs> I don't. I've I'm never sure seen them before. They're I don't know. You know what I do know? They look like rag Missy snips. could answer this question because she would have She has one. them for a reason. Yes. All right. So here's the first little one. And here's a couple more. If you want to keep going. I'll keep going. <laughs> feel free. <laughs> So you guys, um, what questions do you have for Natalie and I? We would love to just have a chat. That's what keeps us going. And uh, whatever you want to know. So mostly, got, mostly whatever you want to know. <laughs> we've got a lot of folks sharing that yes, the second lockdown and things slowing down is, is tricky. Some folks are talking about making masks and, and that it just helps to have you guys online to keep selling and not always think about what's going on in the world. Yeah. To be able to kind of take that You know, we've break. made so many masks for so many things. Our, even our sheriff department approached us for that. But I have a funny story about that. So we have a guy who delivers around town. He'll bring, you know, when, when the stores were open, he would bring the fabric to the stores. And when, you know, he brings anything we need from the warehouse to us and he, he just, he is the delivery guy. And so I said to him, you know, you more than anyone should have a mask. And he goes, mm, I don't want a mask. And I said to him, 
well, I have Chiefs fabric. You know, that's our football team. Right. And I said, I could make you Chiefs masks. And he's like, mm, I'm not really into sports. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I have some Superman fabric. And he goes, really? Yep. You know? <laughs> and now he comes every day. He wears it every with day. With Superman mask on. It's just yeah. like, it just warms my heart so much, you know. It's awesome. Because we want to take care of. Got to know what, they, what just, they love. Yeah, we just want to take care of those people who. Who matter? And honestly, I think a, ma a mask has become kind of a fashion statement. You know, there. Oh, for sure. I saw online where there was a gal who was coordinating it with all her outfits. You know, <laughs> just. Like... I've noticed too, like um, every once in a while. I'm not a huge shopper, but I do occasionally look online for things to buy. <laughs> and I've noticed that uh, even department stores now have masks for sale, which I thought was newish to me. I've I've never seen that before, so. The, my problem you can on, get them anywhere. <laughs> my problem on all of these is stopping. I have no scissor cut button on this machine, and so I'm like, uh, how do I? Yeah, it's that I rental car all over again. You what? It's that rental car all over it's again. It's that rental car, yep. yep. So folks are also saying they've been able to use this time to make lots of quilts, and so yeah, that's I've really noticed. exciting. Guys, we would love to see your quilts. We'd love seeing your quilts. If you oh. share them with us using the hashtag MSQC Show and Tell, then we can see your quilts. Oh so yeah! Make sure you. That's a great share idea. Those and out. I know several people are doing the porch quilts, yes. um, like I do, mm -hmm. and I love that too. I haven't been able to do them for like three days because it's raining. It's been raining, you know, and uh, which is honestly nice because it's also been a hundred degrees. <laughs> yeah. So now. So it's... we're thankful for the rain, and the variety. That was one of the things that was so hard for me. Coming from California, everything has to be watered, irrigated. You need a sprinkler system, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, all that. And you come here and you're like, wait, don't you have to water? No, it just rains every third day. You know, just like, <laughs> really? Once a week, whether you need it or not. So, Natalie, we're asking, getting some questions. Can we get a close-up of you folding? Sure. Because oh, you're, yeah. you're just doing that so quick and easy. So, yeah, I just, I just press it down and, and kind of roll it. And it doesn't have to be uh, super exact. Well, it's like you fold it in a quarter of an inch and then you fold it up on top. It's yeah. basically how I do it. Well, I, I fold it, so I fold it to the batting. It's just, that's the, the measurement is just folded into the batting and then you fold it straight up on top of it. So it's not, I don't even worry about the measurement because it, it is just cut yeah, to, to that exact size okay that, and that then makes the, the little point kind of automatically makes a little miter corner that's awesome so. and if you fold so i fold the way natalie folds i fold exactly the opposite i do counter because I'm, counterclockwise i'm left-handed and so when i fold if you fold from one side to the next and you go all the way around don't go side to side and top to bottom but if you go all the way around then when you go to sew it, all your seams are laying down in the right direction. So like all of these, as I go, to, I, I'm as going I go to sew them, for you. I'll, yeah, but I'll, I'll just sew it. I just sew it this way and so, see it. All the seams are laid down that way until you get to the very first seam, which right. you can so the start end, on. The end, I'll show you in a minute. I got like two to go till I get there. But that one, you just fold the whole thing uh, and both sides come in instead of one side being open. We were so excited when they told us they were going to do pre-cut batting for these two. <laughs> oh, what yeah. a time saver. What a time saver for us. Yeah, it's, it's something that has made this look even more doable because it's one yeah. less step in cutting. Oh, and, the, and remember, you guys, you can sew these by hand. These are great little projects mm -hmm. to throw in a baggie and take with you when you're when you're waiting at the doctor's office or yep you, you know. can get them all pinned up and you can sew by hand and, and that's what Nicola always sews hers by hand and uh, and when and she had never even thought about doing them on the machine and when I did the tutorial <laughs> she was like I am doing these a lot faster now <laughs> yeah so this this last fold you're just I just take both ends and fold it in and and fold it down and you can see that the the miters are pretty good. Sometimes they're not perfect, but it's not that big of a deal, and it's not really going to show when you're um, when you're stitching them all together. You can't really see it. And um, my thread doesn't match exactly, but that might be kind of good for being able to see it. Yeah. I still can't yep. figure out how to end these without a scissor cut. It's so <laughs> weird. We're such creatures of habit. Yep. <laughs> Wait, let me get my um, shears out again. So the, I'm just going to recap shears. real quick. Um, while you're doing that, for folks who are just joining us, we're making a two and a half inch 
hexagon quilt as you go layout that looks like a snowflake. We were using the Christmas card right here. line from Moda. Mm -hmm. Sweetwater fabric. Sweetwater fabrics. And we are right now putting some of these together. We basically roll it up onto the front from the back. So it's quilt as you go. So once you've sewn this, guys, it's, it's completely done. enclosed. Yeah. Everything's good to go. And and you have batting inside and your quilt is just done. And yep. and the batting is pre-cut now. And mm -hmm. when you think of a two and a half inch hexagon, I know you're thinking of one this big. Hexagons are measured on the side. Yes, thank and you. And so so when you take your little hexagon right up six. Okay, let me see. So we can do that. that. All right. And Jenny's using um, folks are asking, Jenny's using the jubilant, the baby lock jubilant, and that's because it has some extra stitches. Usually she uses a straight stitch, but this one has some zigzag and some other decorative stitches that are going to let us put things together on the machine really nicely. Well, and honestly, most of us, we all have a machine that can sing and dance and stand on one leg, you know, mm -hmm. and we straight stitch. Typically, <laughs> yes, <laughs> you just use the straight stitch. So this is a time to get those out and, uh, and work on them. The other thing that um, I don't want to forget to mention is all three of these are made using one charm pack. Yeah. So, you so we put them together in different um, different color variations mm -hmm. and with different backgrounds, but all of the tops, and we still have enough, I don't know how many more we could make. Probably we could just finish well, this see. one out to be the same as these three. Yep. So Six, it takes 12, 13, 13 for each one. For snowflake. So, okay. And so that means 39 will do three snowflakes. So right. And there's 42 extra. in the pack. So you'll have two charm squares left over. And we are ever yeah. so glad that Liz did that math for us. <laughs> that was really quick. <laughs> Thank you. I maybe have it over here just in cases. Um, the other thing that we oh want to mention gosh. is there's a question. Can you show us a little bit of a close up of a finished stitch one? Because Jenny, are you stitching kind of close to the edge or are you stitching right I, down I'm the try, middle? I'm trying to stitch close it, to the edge. It is pretty close to the edge. So This um, is where matching your fabric to your material comes in very handy because it doesn't matter. So here's, here's this one right here that I've stitched and it's like not quite on the edge and I wish it was a little closer, honestly. Well, do you want to do this one with the turkey stitch? Oh! Yes. You can you can pull up a different stitch and then we can show that. Oh, that would be Perfect. fun. Let me see if I can find my turkey on here. Where could it be now? Is it? And folks, is it if this one right here? Some of you are asking, like, Lou, kind of? I see you asking, can no. you publish yardage and number of charm packs for a thrower lap size? If you look in our description, there is a link that will take you to our previous project oh, on this, and there's 31. lots of layouts there, including that kind of size. So take a look over there. There's a couple of other patterns right. available if you're looking for something bigger or different. Um, but this is great because you get three of these little projects out of one charm pack and a little bit of also, yardage in the back. Also, for this one, you would need a half yard. Yeah. Because six, six times three is 18. You get six hexagons from each strip. So that's 36. Maybe you need 39. You need 39 to do the whole thing, right? You, do. you need a little bit more than a half a yard. So maybe three-fourths of a yard, and you could make all three of them yep. as many as you want. All right. Here comes the turkey. Okay. okay. I'm all excited. Right, standing by. Okay, maybe s slow it down. <laughs> no. No, this not, I'm like... If you speed through okay. it... Actually, that one went really fast and came out pretty nicely. Usually with a very nice. pretty stitch, you have to go at a little slower pace because it takes time to go back and forth. Oh, no. But This is our go-to. We're all, they're all going to be... Oh, wait. I've oh, got you're it. tangled around the, there we go. The, the... I need my... Oh, look how pretty that looks. See, that's look so pretty. pretty. You guys are going to like this. It's yep. a lot better looking than the straight stitch. Now, so what I do on the turkey is I just make sure that my... Um, where my background folds up is like in the middle of the presser foot. So it's kind of falling on either side of that so it will catch both. And right here as I'm coming around the corner, I'm a little bit over so I'm just going to move that and come down this other side. You know, once, once I felt this speed, it like kicked new life into me. <laughs> oh. Like a booster. Yes. It's like my booster shot. <laughs> Saying, Jenny can't slow down. I nope, can't. Nope, can't stop, she can't. Stop. All right, 
Kim Hanna says, I have a jubilant. What number is the turkey? 31. 31. Number 31. Check it out. And you'll have to. Uh, but honestly, to. there's so many. All of these stitches would be really cute. So you just kind of pick the one you like. There's a cute leaf one that's that I like and uh, kind of like a scallop edge one. That's pretty cute. You just have to make sure that your stitches go on both sides of the fold because you really just want to attach that folded piece from the background onto the top piece and, and make sure it stays down. There, I think I'm done. Oh, wait till you see this, it looks like lace. <laughs> it's really cute. All right, let me get my scissors. <laughs> Why do you the put them away? Shears. You're just gonna use them again. <laughs> Do you know what I'm actually impressed with? I have I do a lot of gardening and I have pruning shears at home and I could not cut a thread with those. Nope. <laughs> I don't think these are pruning shears to be fair. I think they're for reg snips. Oh, I think you're right. I think they're really good well, for that. They're they, meant to cut like denim and flannel. They and, could be multi. All right, can you guys get a close-up of this? Yeah, like seriously this is close enough? So cute. You guys tell us if you can see the stitching because this is stitching for the win right here. Oh, do you need us to turn this up like this? Yeah, there you go. Can you get it's a little bit more decorative. It looks fancy and professional. <laughs> well, and no stress because you're not trying to hit it right on the edge. You're just like... And for whatever reason, I feel like it was faster. Way and faster. mom definitely had more energy when she was sewing that one. <laughs> yes, I definitely did. Can, you guys got it? Okay, good. Okay, so then how do we sew these together? Oh, well... Okay, well, finish. she has to finish oh, oh, this sorry. one first because that one goes in the middle. Perfect. Okay. And I'm actually going to do the same turkey on this one with the green thread. Do it. Because I'm Contrasting just... Contrasting thread is cute, too. I'm just wild like that. And there are... Someone's asking, too, how many pre-cut batting hexes are in the package? I believe it's 42. Let me read it. Pack of 42. So one pack to one charm pack. Perfect. It's almost like we thought of that. Almost like we planned it. Wow. <laughs> so, okay, so let's stuff. talk about that. Why do you think it is that you buy hot dogs in packages of 10, but the buns come in packages of eight? Does that make any sense to anyone? <laughs> it's a, one of those mysteries of the universe. No, it is a mystery of the universe. It makes no sense. <laughs> right? Noah's shaking his head. He knows what I'm talking about. That well, he's, he's probably never actually bought hot dogs or hot dog buns in his life. I bet he has. <laughs> I don't know. Have you, Noah? <laughs> oh, he has. Never mind. <laughs> See? Things you don't know as a mother about your children. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can fly around this. Right? Well, also, you feel like you have to be a little bit less precise. Totally. Because the, the zigzagginess of it, you know, when you're trying to do a perfectly straight line, you feel a little bit more pressure and it's a little bit scarier. And when you're doing a decorative stitch, it's all over the place anyways, so go for it. This is so cool. Wait till you guys see this because it shows up differently on the black, which is really kind of fun. And it's interesting you say that too because the different background fabrics that you're using for the backing, like mm -hmm. do give it a little bit of a different look and you can play with that and have fun with that. Yes. So can you see that on here? the stitch on the on the black fabric we're good we're good so that looks really cool so when you go right. to put these together we're just going to line them up like this and honestly i would have if had i known how gratifying the, the turkey stitch. the turkey stitch would be i would have done them all that way because right now when you look at this sewing these together with these mm -hmm. uh, not as exciting not as exciting okay so the way to do this is like technically this is a row this is a row and this is a row so we'll join these two together first oh, on this side not how i did it at all how did you do it <laughs> did you sew all around the circle no. yeah. so what i did was i sewed <laughs> down here across here up here oh then gosh. down here across here and up here how about down here, across here, up here. <laughs> let me just help you <laughs> Oh my land! No, just, just put them together in rows and then you can just do this little section. So here's another thing, honestly. But, but both ways work, just so you know, it's, it's okay. She did get the job done. I sure <laughs> did. I sure did. So another thing is, is that even though we're folding these fairly evenly, the, um, I never saw this in rows. That is blowing That's my funny. mind. Um, even though, <laughs> even though we're sewing these evenly together, um, I mean, sewing the sides together, some, some of, sometimes one of the sides will match up better. So if you have a yeah. side that tends to be shorter, 
turn it till you find the one that matches. Is this our next one? Yep. So we're, we're laying them. I'm just nesting, pushing the two together and I'm sewing right down the middle. So the middle of my presser foot is what I'm watching to keep my fabric on both sides. I tell you, you've touched off the hot dog bun conspiracy theorists. Uh -oh. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's just to get us to buy more buns, but yes. um, now, some people do suggest that that means that the extra two hot dogs are for the dog. So. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, okay. I, Good I don't idea. Know if that's the plan, but that's that works. Good idea. Well, there might be people who like hot dogs so much that they double dog it in the bun. You know, could be. Oh, interesting could be, could theory. Be. I never thought of that. Could be a doubler. Okay. All right. Now here is, <laughs> I just set off some controversy here in the studio. You know how you get older and things don't mean what you, <clears throat> the words that you, they used Might be to. better not to talk about it anymore. Okay. <laughs> I get in trouble with that all the time. I say something and I'm like. <laughs> okay, all I'm right. I'm like, wait, what, what? That's bad now? No. Well, everything is funny. I apologize, no offense intended. <laughs> No worries. All right, All right, so now you can put this one here and just do that little oh zigzag. My. The row theory, that is a good idea. That is a great idea. It works pretty well. This is one of the things we love about like, <laughs> seeing you guys together on triple play too, is that everybody quilts a little bit differently. Yeah. Everybody what? Everybody quilts a little bit differently. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about the triple play. Yep. Is that, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, We'll decide on something, and then when they come together, it just, all of us, our minds are blown, actually. We're all just like, oh, that's so cool, that's so yeah, cool, that's yeah. so cool, because we think things differently. And well, and it gives us each an opportunity to do something um, kind of without having to have permission from the group. Like, we just get to do what we want. So, I like that. Yes. I'm going to put one together with this red, because... Um, then we can do one of these little outliers, <laughs> which is super easy because you're just attaching it to the end. And and you can absolutely, like Jenny said earlier, do this by hand if you want to take this on a road trip or sit in front of the TV and do this. But Jenny, would you say that you prefer to do this by hand or by machine? I'm going to guess. Uh, well, I, 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 for anything like this, I would do it by machine, but I love handwork. I love yeah. car work. And so I, I do, I haven't actually taken one of these in the car, but I have totally, um, uh, I totally would. Yeah. You know, this would be something that. I would think it depends. So if you're taking a road trip and you want to have a project to work on on the road, it would be really easy to prep this yeah. and take it with you. But if you're wanting to get something done, you know, for, for the dinner party on Sunday, you can really quickly sew it up on the machine. So I think it just kind of depends, you know, if, if you need something to do to keep your hands busy while you're watching TV or on a road trip, it's perfect for that. But, um, but you also can whip it out really fast. So and Denise so Gomez my husband also... likes me to sit with him at night and watch TV, and oh, yeah. I have a really hard time just sitting. Mm -hmm. So I always have something there. Uh, I knit. I, although when I'm knitting... Do you remember the year I made 37 scarves? <laughs> yes, she likes, to, she likes to knit scarves. <laughs> they get long. <laughs> I like to say, every time get somebody one. come over, I'd be like, I, you, to make a scarf, you need another scarf. Mm -hmm. Mom, stop making scarves. Well, Denise Gomez But it was just asked, like so relaxing. And okay. Denise Gomez is asking, do you need to quilt the center of these? And I think no, you don't. You you don't because this is the right size and the batting is just so that it, it's not going to need it. Well, you you totally could though. Um, I've seen like an X. Well, also people with embroidery machines. So um, one of our pattern writers has an embroidery machine and she actually embroidered like flowers and um, numbers on them. So you know, depending on what it's for. <laughs> oh, look at the back. Yeah, that looks ah! really cute. Yep. So now, if you're wanting to do, if we want yeah, to snowflake it, you can just it, add another little. You're just going to add, add another layer. Make make another one, and you can put them out here, and you just put one on each one. Yep. Yep. Natalie, you should have all these ready for I me. I don't have any. Well, I didn't cut any more red, <laughs> <laughs> but I could. Yes. <laughs> so, guys, this was really great. So we've gotten to see from start to finish how to use this template with this pre-cut batting, and we also have a sneak 
from Natalie that there is a project in the next block magazine that uses mm -hmm. this same kind of idea with a little extra twist. Yep. And so if you haven't gotten enough of Jenny and Natalie, <laughs> they'll be back tomorrow, Wednesday tomorrow night. at 6 p.m. Central for tomorrow a block night. party. Mm -hmm. Remind me when I, uh, night I time. will because we don't <laughs> usually work after five. No, no. <laughs> We're on a pretty loose schedule like that. Yeah, we just 5 p.m. We go home. <laughs> yep. Often. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us. It was so great. Is it over? Happen. It's over. It's already over. I know. Dang We've it. done the whole thing. So well, fast. Well, you guys, we hope you have a good day. We hope that uh, this sparks a little uh, fun for you. And we hope you joy. try out this batting because that is pretty amazing. It's seriously. Yeah. And yeah. Um, we just hope you all uh, take care of each other and stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. <laughs> Wear a mask. Wash your hands. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye.